Hmm, now you know, when I really think about it, there's a cheap way I can do this. I think I'm gonna do it that way. Yeah. Yeah? Nope, that's not it. That's definitely not it. Hang on, let me get a good side angle. That might be our best bet. So I get him on this platform. How about right there? Right there? How about... No, I'm just gonna be wasting eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a flight pad real quick. No, wait, wait, wait. There's jumper boots here. I'm gonna get these jumpy boots. That sounds useful, right? That'll totally work. I don't know how high up they go, actually, so I hope this is enough. That is not enough. God dang it. Some wall stuck me there, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the wall got me stuck. I could have made that jump normally. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Either way, though, there's a plan B. Oh, God. Sorry about my sneezing. I couldn't help it. This place, this place is making me sneeze, man. It's all dusty. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, yeah, we could have used the clockwork kazooie egg if we wanted to. There's water in here. Totally forgot about that. Because I think you can get the Cheeto page without getting the water in here. Never mind, I take that back. You probably need... Probably need to do that. That also might have been the last Cheeto page we need. I'm going to check our stats here in just a sec. There you go. Could have swam a little faster, but whatever. Alright, Mew Totals. That was the Cheeto page of this world. Okay, so we're just missing... Just make sure real quick. So we're missing three Jiggies. Uh, make that four. Five. I think that's it. Yeah, we're just missing five Jiggies. That is literally all we're missing at this point. Well, five Jiggies. Uh, five Jiggies via the levels and then one Jiggy via the hub world. So we're missing six Jiggies, really. But six Jiggies, that's it. We got all the Gingers, got all the Cheeto pages. Don't need to deal with that anymore, so... Uh, it is time for us to move on over to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Alright guys, so we are now back here at Glitter Gulch Mine. You might be wondering, why the heck are we back here again? We just keep coming on back to Glitter Gulch Mine, and I made a mistake, guys. I totally forgot one thing we were supposed to do when we were backtracking, and that was the... Uh, giant Globo that we can get. That is something we could have done a little earlier when we were here at Glitter Gulch Mine, but I totally forgot. There's this rock down here that we were supposed to bust down. I completely forgot that it was here. I don't know why I had a mindset of it was in Hailfire Peaks, but it is not. Which is explains why as to I don't remember seeing it last time. I was just there recently. So yeah, you definitely want to break down that and then use this opportunity to get way over here. Technically, technically speaking, it is in Hailfire Peaks. That's besides the point. Yep, here we are. Isn't that weird? We're in Hailfire Peaks, the icy side. It is in Hailfire Peaks, but the entrance to it is in uh, Glitter Gulch Mine. It's really strange, but it's true. And you can only really come here with the ice key. So make sure you have the ice key and then you use it. This will open up a huge door. And with this, we'll be able to get Dragon Kazooie. We won't be doing that quite yet, but definitely we'll be getting it soon. As a matter of fact, I actually actually go cash in for Dragon Kazooie right now. Wow, you've caught the legendary Mega Globo. It's supposed to have really special magical powers. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get that Dragon Kazooie. All right, guys, so once you have the Mega Globo, the Giant Globo, the Humongous Globo, I don't know why the game had to show me that I don't have fries. <laughs> just, just making me feel ever so better, game. Appreciate it. Almost well, Wigwob, I have a very special spell, but need legendary Mega Globo. Let me guess, I bet there's only one of those Mega Globo things and it's really hard to find. Bird correct, now go and find. I already got it. Me much surprised, you have the legendary Mega Globo. Want to give it to Hamba? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Bam, that's a big Globo. Magic ready, jump in Wamba Pool. Here we go, guys. The super special transformation. Check this out, man. Hey, look, we're pretty much the same. Nothing has changed. I'm gonna call this dragon, but what's changed? Kazooie, now big heap dragon, burn many baddies. Oh, isn't it great? Oops, I mean, talking again. My bad. Yeah, 
Dragon Kazooie! So cool. I freaking love Dragon Kazooie. It's a good addition to the game, guys. It's a good addition. So yeah, with that being done, uh, we need to head on over to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, finally. Sorry about that little bit of a... Uh, what's the word? I guess... I don't actually know the word for it. Or the words. A little interruption, I guess I should say. Uh, another thing we can do here in the hub, before I forget, is actually get the last Jinjo. That'd be a smart idea, right? The last Jinjo should be over here. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is Kazooie's voice, once she's become a dragon. So, yeah, let's go ahead and use these climber boots, or whatever they're called. And, uh, try to get that Jinjo. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I will keep Kazooie as the dragon for the end of the game. Not too sure. But I'm also thinking about switching it. I think I might go ahead and get regular old Kazooie when we beat the game. I think that's how I want to do things. Alright, the purple Jinjo family is complete! I'd like to have- or they'd like you to have this. Okay, so we have 85 Jiggies. Now we just gotta get five more Jiggies, guys. We're definitely getting there. We're definitely getting there. Alrighty, but yeah, I think I think I'm gonna keep Dragon Kazooie for the duration of this backtracking, and then we'll switch out for regular Kazooie, because I like regular Kazooie for the end of the game. Just to kind of feel like the journey was proper. I don't know if that sounds right or not. Like most of you guys out there would be like, oh that's stupid, you should have Dragon Kazooie for the ending of the game. That's so that's so much cooler though. And like it's Kazooie but green. Like why would I say no to that, right? But I don't know, it's just like for me personally speaking. I like having regular Kazooie for the end of the game. It just seems so typical to be like, here's Dragon Kazooie at the end of Banjo Tooie. Like, I, I know that sounds cool, and it technically is, but I don't know. It's just not in me, man. I, I gotta have good old classic Kazooie for the end of this game. That's just how it goes. So by the end of this episode, you won't see uh, Dragon Kazooie. It'll just magically be Kazooie again. That's how I think I'm gonna do things. So. Sorry. Technically, Dragon Kazooie gives more power, so you have, like, magical powers with Dragon Kazooie. With the whole fire breathing, but we don't really need that for the final fight, so... To be fair, it's not really what we call an upgrade for that part. Hi. Come here, dude. Oh, aha. Oh, jeez. You alright, dude? You gonna die? Here, let me end you. Let me cool you off. Ouch, dude. I'm trying to look cool here. I'm trying to use cool quotes. Alright, now we can finally do this. Oh, I don't know what to do. What seems to be the problem, Tip Tup? It's my baby. He's about 32 weeks late. Can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? I'm a reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. That is a darn shame there. Oh well, I can hatch it. That shouldn't be a problem. There you go. Perfect. Tip Tup's a dad now. Man, to think in the span of 1997 to 2000, between Diddy Kong Racing and Tui, Tip Tup's already a dad. That sounds about right. Turtles and animals can have children pretty early on in their lifespan, compared to us adults. Tipped up! That's not funny, please help him. Alright, alright. Oh, I guess my fire will bring you back up. Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. See, now come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. You, you actually had other kids already? That wasn't your students, right? Like, your students were different than this turtle. I guess Tip Tip was already a dad. Dang. Man, they grow fast. Could you stop making that noise? God, big baby noises. Alright, that's Jiggy number 86. So we officially have four more Jiggies left to get. That's not too bad. Got quite a few of them here in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, though. We missed, like, three here. So we still got some work to do here in the good old lagoon. I know where one of them is. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and glide on over. Whoosh. Alright. Let's go ahead and stay split up. Or, you know, jumping doesn't have to be an option, that's cool too. I'm actually tr- oh wait, that's right, I was like, I'm actually trying to remember where the last Jiggy was for Jelly Rogers Lagoon. What we're actually going to have to do is head on over to Hailfire Peaks for that. That's a darn shame. I don't know if I have to return back to uh, Jelly Rogers Lagoon or not, but I'm pretty sure we could just kind of stay in Hailfire, or Hailfire Peaks and actually get the Jiggy. Could be wrong, I don't remember. Either way though, that's Jiggy number 87. So that's awesome. Oh, let's go try to stay not wet. Oh, only got my feet wet. That's cool. No biggie. Dragon Kazooie is not full on wet. Just the feet. 
All right, so now that we're done with that, I believe literally the last G we need to get is by opening up the water thing in Hailfire Peaks for the pigs. So I shall return once we get to Hailfire Peaks. All right, guys, now we're gonna be heading on into Hailfire Peaks. We got, uh, I think two things we're supposed to do. I could be wrong. I, I don't remember which one counts as a Hailfire Peaks Jiggy, which one counts as a Jolly Rogers Lagoon Jiggy. I'm pretty sure this is a Jolly Rogers Lagoon Jiggy. So, what we need to do is not go over here with both Banjo and Kazooie. We need just good old Banjo here. So let's go ahead and hop on over here. Split them up real quick. Got that deep Kazooie voice though. Honestly, it sounds a tad demonic. Just technically fitting here, but that's besides the point. It's gonna go way over here with good old Banjo. Get into our backpack. Hop on down to this... Well, this is supposed to be really hot water, but not as hot anymore water. And hit up this Banjo switch. There we go. Let's go and all the water gets sucked out of there. Whoever structured this place is weird. <laughs> to connect all these worlds. It's like they were just begging for me to, like, fix problems. At last, we can go for a swim. Here, take this piece of gold that we stole off the smelly, bony lady in a big pointy hat. Thanks! Not like she needs it anyways. That's Jiggy number 88, guys. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and check my stats. Right here. Okay, so yeah, Hellfire Peak still has one more Jiggy for us to get. Uh, I'm actually trying to remember what that Jiggy was. That's right, okay. I remember now. Sorry, I like paused the game for a sec just to kind of like think of what that Jiggy was. We actually have to go back to Pterodactyl Land and go through the Stomping Plains. Totally forgot about that. Probably should have done that when we were actually at the Stomping, or not Stomping Plains, but when we were actually at Pterodactyl Land. But that's okay, because we don't really need to go back to Jolly Rogers Lagoon anymore, like go back inside. So we'll go back to the Wasteland and get to the Stomping Plains. So I shall be right back. All right, let's go to Stomping Plains. Here we go. Go and do that nice, lovely teleport. Yeah, this should definitely get us where we need to be. So let's go ahead and get the split pad going. And I believe I could be wrong about this, but first, before before anything, just in case I almost die, let's go and get Banjo all healed up. And I think what we want to do here is if we get into our backpack with the backpack above us and we let this thing try to stomp us, it won't work. I take that back, we are going to die. We are going to die. That's right, we're supposed to heal up each and every time we do this. I don't know if you need full health to do that each time, but we're just gonna go ahead and play it safe. Yep. There you go. Okay, that's gonna hit us again. Yeah, just keep on healing, you're pretty much good to go. This is kind of tedious, but it's a good way of getting on across and being good to go, so. Let's go ahead and wait, wait for it, wait for it. Swoosh! Oh, okay, gonna get hit again. God, I can't dodge that every time, so. Yeah, just gotta be patient with your health. The more health you have, the longer it takes, but eh. Better have more health than none. Like, very little. Very little health. Yeah! Ouch. Okay, back in here, back in here. Bedge has to take a beating, man. Has to take a big old beating. Keep screaming, that'll get you everything that you want. Totally. Swoosh. Go, me go. Ah, no, 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 no! Ooh, that was close. I did not have a good feeling about that at all. I did not get the good vibes. Good crimey. Oh, wait, why am I sleeping still? <laughs> I'm like panicking with time here. There, we're good. It's all good. Banjo can open this up now. I don't know if we need Kazooie to go on across. We might need Kazooie to go through here. Let me check. Pretty sure the one would be like Kazooie to come over. Yeah, Kazooie wants over. Hey Banjo, you're not leaving this world without me. All right, all right. We'll go get Kazooie real quick. It's a darn shame, really, because it's mostly Banjo doing all the work, but you do need, you do need Kazooie. Run, Kazooie. Yeah. Yeah, because it'd be so much faster, so this makes life so much easier. There we go. Hide, Kazooie, hide. <laughs> oh man, that part always scares the bejeebers out of me, but hey, you know, we're okay. 
We made it through. It's all worth it. We're getting ourselves another jiggy here in a sec. Oh boy. The one we've been waiting for. Bada boom, the last Hailfire Peaks jiggy. That is jiggy number 89. We officially have one more jiggy to get, guys. And then we're pretty much done collecting these suckers. So we'll go ahead and check our stats here in just a sec, just to kind of make sure we're, to know where we're going next. Uh, let me go ahead and just hop through here to get on out of the stomping planes. So, let's go ahead and pause if we can. Yeah, right there. Perfect pausing time. We're just falling. Alright, so let's see. We're missing one Jiggy in Grunty Industries, and I believe I know which Jiggy that is, so I shall return, guys. Alright, guys, so we're back here at Spiral Mountain. You might be wondering why the heck did I come back to Spiral Mountain first? Before I go to, uh, Grunty Industries, it's because Grunty Industries is technically on the way to the end of the game. So I figured a smart thing to do first is to go back to Spiral Mountain and actually cash in those Cheeto pages. Oh boy, we got them all, man. Grace, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time, spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. There you go. Much obliged. My first cheat is feathers, got it? Much obliged. My second cheat is eggs, got it? Much obliged. My third cheat is fall proof, got it memorized? Much obliged. My fourth cheat is honey back, got it? Much obliged. My fifth cheat is jukebox, got it? Here's a small clue as to how to activate the cheat. Mayhem temple, code chamber, letters, got it? No, I still don't understand. I do, Banjo, come on, let's go use that cheat. Alright, so yeah, you can get all these cheat codes here. We're gonna go ahead and... Let's see, this, these, these are the menu of codes I've told you. So yeah, we need to put in jukebox. Jukebox is actually a cheat code that we're going to be doing. It's probably the only cheat code we're actually going to activate here. So, give me some time guys, I'm gonna go to Mayhem Temple, activate that cheat, then we're gonna go to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. In this episode of Banjo 2, we were all over the freaking place! Like, holy crap, if I had a dollar for every time I've been to Mayhem Temple, freaking Witchy World... It's like, I keep just popping in and out of levels, man. But no, like, this is the last time I'll actually be going to Mayhem Temple, unless I decide to actually full-on go through with it and show off all the cheat codes. I will more than likely not be doing that, though. So here we go. You must spell out the cheat code I have given you. So use the control stick to move and aim the side, blah blah blah. Aim carefully, though, hit the wrong letter and you'll have to start over. Yes. It sometimes was a pain in the A back in the old days, but I'll try my best to be as precise as possible. As J. You where's a K? K K K. Trying to think here. Right there. Don't know where my eyes are. Juke. And then right there. We've seen X. Right there. Jukebox. Nice shooting. Now step across the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B. The jukebox sheet will activate the jukebox at Jolly's. Yes, it will. Yes, that's the, probably the only cheat code I'm going to be activating in this game, just because it's not really like... What's the word? Yeah, honey back. All these are already activated, which is pretty nice. You can actually... Well, I mean, they tell you the names of them when you get here, but you have to insert them still. We're not doing any of those, because that's just going to make my game so much freaking easier, and I'm not that big a cheat. I could beat this game without that crap. Get that out of my face. Alright, so let's see. Now I want to teleport on out of here and uh, make my way over to Jolly's. So, you guys will be seeing a pretty cool transition here in just a sec. Alright, I promise. Alright, transitioning now. So yeah, I was technically wrong. We are coming back here to the Jolly Rogers Lagoon. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Totally didn't realize that there was the jukebox here. I was like, that's a thing we can do, right? Look at that, it's all glowing and looking good now. Pick a world to play. Select B to cancel. See, so yeah, you can play any music you want in the game. So if I really want witchy world music, I can. Or specific witchy world music, too. That was like, muted all the sounds. So, if we want... The space Zone. Oh, it's so cool. This is where you get like really clean rips of the game. I could probably give like the best audio of Banjo 2E music you can get for N64 via my Ultra HDMI 64 awesomeness. Madam Grunty? Mr. Patch. Oh, yeah, Mr. Patch. Oh, so good. 
This freaking Jolly Roger over here dances to it. Oh, so cool. Alright, let me think if there's any other song I want to play. There's quite a few songs. Culture and Keep, I'll Hag, Miscellaneous? Look at him dance to that, that's hilarious. Banjo's theme, game select, pause, turbo trainers, wadding boots. Okay, so it's gonna be like all the other such. Alright, let me go ahead and just exit out of all this. Get out of this as well. Oh, it's kind of fun the song would keep playing if I kept going throughout the game. Wouldn't that be cool? Ah, uh, but you can't have that. Alright, I shall see you guys at Grunty Industries. Alright guys, we're here at the Quagmire location. We're gonna be heading on... Ouch! Heading on into Grumpy Industries for one more jiggy, because this level needs to just rest in pieces. Just so done with this level. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and head in on inside the interior and grab that last jiggy. I believe it's a banjo-only jiggy, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm actually not even going to make cuts at this point, just because it's kind of a straightforward process. It would be kind of silly for me to cut like five seconds out and then cut right back to what we were doing. It's like, might as well just keep going. Forget, right? Let's get that clean cut. So you want to hop on up here, go ahead and split Banjo and Kazooie, and then good old Banjo over here will just kind of hop on across. Hang on, get up there, there you go. It's all good now. Swoosh. Oh, hang on, just drop one in. My bad. I was jumping all over the place. And now, you can just kind of hop on down here in peace. Ow, not what I wanted to do, but sure. I can go and heal myself real quick. Might as well. Get that nice healing in. Hang on. It's a good thing we have extra air bubbles. Good Christ. Out of here. Out of here with that. Uh-uh. Ain't having that. Alright, yeah, you can't freaking follow me when I'm... Oh, that is not even what I wanted to do, game. <laughs> That's the normal way of getting that one jiggy I was gonna get. But, yeah, no, not doing that. Uh, I might have also entered the wrong room. No, wait, that's a Jiggy, alright. That's the other side, though. I need the other side. My bad. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I, I went to the wrong freaking room. My bad. Alright, so I think, if I'm not wrong, we're supposed to go to the direction where Weldar was? Like, where we beat Weldar and all that, and there was that huge giant fan? I'm pretty sure that's where we were supposed to go. That was my second guess, but honestly, I probably should have went with that, because that was the smart idea. Where I went just now was like the first one I did. So that would make sense as to why uh, to go over here. Because there's no way in heck two Jiggies would be in the same room like that. Like they were connected via the walls. But I was like, wait a second, that's not where we're supposed to go. And I'm like, right, right. It was that one room we couldn't go in before. The uh, waste disposal plant, as it's called here. Alright, yeah, this should definitely be it. I remember 100% now this is what we were supposed to be doing. My bad. Yeah, this is what we want to do. want to hop on in here. Oh boy, where are we going? Here we go. That's it, guys. Jiggy number 90. That is all the Jiggies in Banjo 2. We no longer need any more Jiggies. They're all collected. We are done. I'm going to go ahead and reunite with um, Kazooie. Dragon Kazooie, for that matter. And go ahead and just kind of like swap out for regular Kazooie and end off the video. All right, guys, that should definitely do it. Got good old, old Kazooie back. Uh, once again, I apologize for those who actually wanted me to maybe play as Dragon Kazooie for this duration. Once again, it's just not really my preference, so... Sorry about that, but, eh. I'm more or less just having, like, regular old Kazooie for the end of the game, so... That's just how I roll. However, we kind of need those boots to, like, climb up there? And get to the end of this game. So, like, let me find the boots real quick, because it's supposed to activate, like, a, uh... It's supposed to activate a jump pad. Just get some kind of jump pad, so... I should probably heal up too as well, because I kind of got myself a little hurt. No, seriously, where are the boots? Freaking fake as all heck, Ginger. We got them all in this game. They're all fake at this point. Huh. I actually don't remember where... Oh, there's the boots. They're over here on the opposite side. I should have remembered that. That's my bad. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab these suckers real quick. There's kind of just gonna open up the the way for us to be able to finish the game on the next episode but for now I'm just gonna activate the pad that's my game plan right now here we go going up wonderful wonderful go ahead and just hop me on down there you have it guys 
Cauldron keeps secret exit. Neat. We go ahead and hit up this pad. Oh well, I guess you don't have to ground pound it. So you see the OG Banjo Kazooie where you have to ground pound so many switches. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Banjo 2. I hope you enjoyed the backtracking episode. I tried my best to make it as, I guess, informative and as fun as possible. But it was mostly just a bunch of clean up. So, anyways, I'll see y'all next time on Banjo 2. -E. We'll be playing the very last bit of this game. It'll be the final. See y'all next time, and take care.